Hello, I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to talk about books. And today's book is My Imaginary Mary by Cynthia Hand, Jody Meadows, and Brody Ashton. And if their names sound familiar, it's because this is the trio of authors who brought us the Lady Janie series. And they are now releasing their second of the Mary series. So My Imaginary Mary features Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. She's joined by her two sisters, Fanny and Jane, who has decided for some reason she would like to be called Claire. Also joining Mary is Ada Lovelace. And if you like books with a sense of humor that are not entirely historically accurate, you are in for a real treat. Great things have always been expected from Mary Godwin. Her mother, Mary Wollstonecraft, was a writer and advocate of women's rights. And everyone expects Mary to become a writer too. And although Mary enjoys writing, she just feels that her writing isn't good enough. While attending a demonstration with her secret boyfriend, Percy Shelley, Mary witnesses a frog being zapped with electricity, resulting in its death. Mary imagines the frog alive and living again, and after another shock, it is. Back at home, Mary is visited by her fae godmother, who begins training Mary and Ada Lovelace in all things fae. Ada, too, attended the demonstration, but she is far too rational to believe the frog came back to life. Ada prefers to turn her mind to questions of mechanical engineering. When Ada enlists Mary's help and they build an automaton, the results are far different than either of them expected. This automaton, known as Pan, achieves a life that surprises them both and leads to their being chased by an evil scientist. It's a refreshing new take on the origin of the Frankenstein story, one that you will enjoy. Next time we will be looking at the graphic novel of Frankenstein. So today, for the other books, we are going to focus on books based on historical figures or classic stories. And first up, we will look at the series by the same authors, the Lady Janies. The first book in this series is My Lady Jane, and this is the story of Lady Jane Grey. Edward is King of England. He'd like to be planning his first kiss, but because he is ill, he is considering who will inherit his throne. Jane is Edward's cousin. She prefers books to romance, but her cousin Edward has arranged a marriage for her this will help secure the line of succession. Her intended is Gifford, who prefers to be called G. He is an Ethian, which adds the complication that he becomes a chestnut steed. These three are drawn into a dangerous conspiracy with the fate of the kingdom at stake. Pride and Premeditation by Terza Price. It's a YA mystery, and it's based on Jane Austen's classic, Pride and Prejudice. And it is the first book in the Jane Austen murder mystery series. A murder shocks London's high society. Lizzie Bennet works for her father's law firm. She would love to be a litigator, but women aren't allowed in court except as witnesses. The accused already has a lawyer his friend Fitzwilliam Darcy. Lizzie is convinced that the wrong person is being blamed and vows to help clear him of the murder. Then she can earn a position of her own. Along the way, Lizzie learns that this job could make her happy or get her killed. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer which is a retelling of the classic Beauty and the Beast. Prince Wren has been cursed to repeat the summer that he was 18. His only escape will be if he can find a girl who will fall in love with him. Harper, 
has had a difficult life. She is always underestimated because of her cerebral palsy, but she is determined and she is resourceful. Harper is pulled into a magical world when she tries to help a stranger in Washington, D.C. She doesn't know where she is or what to believe, but the longer she is in the enchanted land, the more she understands what is at stake. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed this look at My Imaginary Mary and other books based on historical figures or classic stories. I'll return next week when we will be taking a look at the manga classic edition of Frankenstein. Until then, I hope that you enjoy all that you do and all that you read. And thank you.